Hello, everyone. Sue, come out. Come out and say hello. Look, our friends are here. <laughs> are you ready to sing the good morning song? Okay, so am I. Will you help us sing the good morning song too? Okay, here we go. to dance on this part. You can dance too if you want to. Well, Sue, you can sit down right now because we need to check on Fred and feed Fred. That's our class job. Hello, Fred. Fred is behind the filter. I can see him, but you can't see him. I'm sorry about that. But if you keep watching, I bet he'll swim out in just a moment. So we'll just keep checking for Fred. And while we're waiting, we'll check and see what day it is. The month is January. Let's reach into our can and see how we will count. Hop. So are you ready to hop and count? Okay, here we go. You can hop in your seat or you can stand and hop. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and eight, nine, ten, and today is January 11th, January 11th, and if you go up, up, up to the top, you can see that the day of the week starts with a W. W says wah, wah, wah as in wake up. So, hmm, what day starts with that sound? Wah, wah, wah. Hey, very good. Wednesday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Well, it is time to check the weather, so look outside and see what the weather's like for you today. What's your weather like today? Maybe it's a sunny day or a rainy day, windy day or snowy day. When I do like this with my microphone, shout it out. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like?
like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Today. It is. It is. It is out today. Let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, we're going to put on some pants for you and a long sleeve shirt. And let's put a coat on Weather Bear and also a hat because it is cold. What is the season? The season is winter, winter. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is H. Can you say H? If your name has letter H, stand up. If your name has letter H, stand up. If your name has letter H, if your name has letter H, if your name has letter H, stand up. My name had letter H. Well, H is for horses. And look at the horses on the card. What color are these horses? Brown. So today, as I decorate my letter H, I'm going to use brown, a brown crayon like the horse on our card. This is the letter H. You can make your horse any color you'd like to. But I think I'm going to just make my letter H for horse brown. Big letter H. And here is the small letter H. Uh, so what letter is this again? This is letter H. Now that we can recognize it, we'll practice writing it. To make a letter H, you just need to make a number one and another number one and a line across. One, one, across. One, one, across. Let's practice writing the big letter H. One, one, across. One, one, across. One, one, across. That's how you make big letter H. Can I see your letter H? I want to check and cheer for you. Let me see. Yes, very good. And remember, if you don't have paper, just sky write. One, one across. Yes, good job. Well, I want to show you little letter H, but first, can you do me a favor? Can you make one hop? Let's do that again. One hop. That's what we need for little h. We just need a one and then we need to hop over. One hop. One hop. Let's practice writing little h. One hop. One hop. Up. Can I see your little H? I want to check and cheer for you. Yes. One hop. Good job, good job. Okay, well, I'm going to give you a sticker. You did such a great job practicing your handwriting. Here it comes. That's for you. Well, now we know what letter H looks like. We know how to write letter H. So it's time to talk about the sound that letter H makes. 
Letter H makes the sound. It kind of sounds like me when I've been running. I kind of breathe like that. So let's do that for our activity. I'm going to set a timer and let's stand up and run. And when the timer goes off, we're going to come back and we're going to see how we're breathing. Are you ready to run? Okay, on your marks, get set, go. Run, 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 run. Run as fast as you can. Run, run, run. Come back, come back, down. Let's see how we're breathing. <sighs> when I've been running a lot. <sighs> and that is the sound that letter H makes. <sighs> like when you've been running. <laughs> well, let's put that sound with all of the vowels and do some blending today. Can you help me sing the vowel song? A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. Well, let's put letter H in the front. And let's do some blending. Blending just means making the letter sounds go together. Letter H says, ha, ha, ha. and letter A, I'll bring out the vowel people puppet so you can remember what A sounds like. A says, ah, 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 as in ah, choo. Ah, ha, 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 like happy. Ha, happy. Next, H is with letter E. E looks like old man E's ear. E says, eh, 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 he, like help. <laughs> Next is H with I. And I looks like an icky sticky lollipop. Eh. Like hip. Next is H with O, and O says ah, like at the doctor when you have to say ah, ah, ha, ha. For T at the end of this one, and see if we can read a real word. Letter T says t, 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 like a ticking clock. Ha, t, ha, t, hot, hot. Last we have H with letter U and U has a tummy ache. He says, uh, 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 uh. Huh. Let's put a letter M at the end. Letter M says, mmm, like if you're eating something yummy. Mmm. Ah. Ha. Mmm. Ha. Mmm. Ha. That is a hum. That I'm humming a tune. Okay, well, that was our blending and our reading time. And now it's time for sight words. Word for you today. And it starts with letter H. H L P. This word is help. Can you say help? Help. <laughs> this word is help. Well, let's build this word. Let's use some magnets from the refrigerator, okay? So what letter do I need first? I need H. And then what letter do I need? E. And then L and P. 
H E L P. Help. Let's write help. H L P. Help. What is this word again? Help. <laughs> well, you did a great job with our letter, phonics, handwriting, blending, reading, and sight word time. Shoo. Now it's time for math. And for math today, we're going to be helping some horses get into the fence. So here they are. All right, so take a look. I'm going to see if I can add some horses into the fence. Will you help me count? One, two, three, four, five. Five horses are in the fence, but I think I wanna add some more horses. I think I'm going to try to get two more horses to come into the fence. One, two. Now how many horses are in the fence? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. Okay, now let's see if we can do another one. Let's take some horses back out. And now there are only one, two, three, four horses in the fence. Four horses are in the fence and I'm going to see if I can catch three more horses. Here we go. One, two, three. Now how many horses are in the fence? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four plus three equals seven. Good job. We can use this horse math, math mat for adding. Let's do another one. One, two, three horses are in the fence. But I'm going to catch six. I want to try to catch six horses. Let's see if we can get them to come into the fence. One, two, three are already here. And now I'm going to catch one. Gotcha. Two, three, four, five, six. Now I have six more. So how many horses are in the fence? Let's count all the horses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine horses are in the fence. Three plus six equals nine. I can also use this math mat for subtraction or takeaway. There are nine horses in the fence, but uh-oh, four horses are gonna run away. One, two, three, four. Now how many horses are in the fence? How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Nine minus four equals five. Now there are five horses in the fence, but uh-oh, two horses are gonna run away. One, two. How many horses are left in the fence? One, two, three. Five minus two equals three. Three horses are in the fence, but two horses are gonna run away. One, two. How many horses are left in the fence? Only one, one horse. One horse is in the fence, but he's lonely. He wants to find his friends. Now how many are in the fence? Zero, zero horses are in the fence. <laughs> 
Well, it's time for music and movement, and today's song is called A Horse, of course. Here we go. <laughs> Walking, walking, I like to walk around. Yes, I'm a horse, of course, of course, I walk around the town. Walking, walking, I like to walk around. Yes, I'm a horse, of course, of course, I walk around the town. Trotting, trotting, I like to trot around. It's only me, a horse, you see, I trot down by the sea. Trotting, trotting, I like to trot around. It's only me, a horse, you see, I trot down by the sea. Running, running, I like to run around. Wind in my face, I set the pace, I run to win the race. Running, running, I like to run around. Wind in my face, I set the pace, I run to win the race. Wind in my face, I set the pace, I run to win the race. a fun little short song. Now it's time for science. And for science today, we're going to be learning all about horses. So let me show you some pictures and tell you some things about horses today. Okay, so horses are pretty cool. Take a look at this baby horse. Did you know that baby horses can run shortly after they're born. Can you imagine if you were just a little bitty tiny baby and you were just born, getting up and starting to run around? Well, a baby horse can do that. And a baby horse is called a foal. Horses are herbivores. That means they eat plants, not meat. They mostly eat hay and grasses. Horses can sleep lying down, and standing up. Horses have bigger eyes than any other animal that lives on land. Whoa, those are some really big eyes you have there, horse. A boy horse is called a stallion. A grown-up boy horse is called a stallion. A grown-up girl horse is called a mare. A young boy horse is called a colt. A young girl horse is called a filly. A horse's hoof is always growing, just like your fingernails. A horse's hoofs need to continually be clipped. There are special people who take care of a horse's hooves. They even put horseshoes on the bottom. A horse has four speeds. A horse can walk, trot, canter, and gallop. So those were some fun facts about horses today for our science. Now it's time for art and we're gonna make a horse. Let's go over to the art table. For art today, we're gonna make a horse that can actually stand up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to color my horse. I think I'm going to make a brown horse. Okay, so next I'm going to decide what I want to do about the horse's tail. Now, if you have some yarn, you could glue yarn to the tail to make the tail. If you don't have yarn, you can draw a tail like this. You wanna do that before you cut it out. Okay, so now I just drew on a tail. and Now I'm going to cut out my horse.
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add an eye. You could draw an eye on your horse or you could use a little wiggly eye. I think I'm going to just stick a little wiggly eye on my horse. Okay, so now he needs some legs. So for the legs, I'm going to be using two clothespins. One right here and one right here. And now my horse can actually stand up. So there you have it. That's our little art project for today. Well, there he is. There's the little horse we made at art and he can really stand up. Well, it's time for us to read a story. And today's story is called Clip Clop's Picnic. Clip Clop's Picnic. Clip Clop the pony is having a picnic. She has invited all her friends, Hip Hop the bunny, Yip Yap the puppy, and Flip Flap the bird. Hip Hop is a very bouncy bunny. He likes hopping, hop, hop, hop. Yip Yap is very noisy. He likes yapping, yap, yap, yap. And Flip Flap is very fluttery. He likes flapping, flap, flap, flap. Clip Clop is packing food for the picnic. Apples for Clip Clop, carrots for Hip Hop, a bone for Yip Yap, and popcorn for Flip Flap, pip, pop, Pippity pop. The picnic is at the top of a very steep hill. It is a long way to climb. Shall we help? Clip clop, hip hop, yip yap, and flip flap climb the hill. Clip clop, up to the top. Keep going, don't stop. Nearly there. Clip clop, clippity clop, with a clip and a clop, up to the top. Hip hop, up to the top. Keep going, don't stop, nearly there. Hip hop, hippity hop, with a hip and a hop, up to the top. Yap, up to the top. Keep going, don't stop, nearly there. Yip, yap, hippity yap, with a yip and a yap, up to the top. Flip flap, up to the top. Keep going, don't stop. Nearly there. Flip flap, flippity flap, with a flip and a flap up to the top. Clip clop, hip hop, yip yap, and flip flap are all at the top. But stop, where is the picnic basket? Can you see it? Oh no, the basket is still at the bottom of the hill. Oh dear, they can't have a picnic without food. So with a clip and a clop, with a hip and a hop, with a yip and a yap and a flip and a flap, the friends go back down the hill. Hey ho, down they all go. Clip clop, hip hop, yip yap and flip flap are very tired. The hill was so steep. They get to the bottom and fall fast asleep. <laughs> Well, that was a fun story, and I hope you had a fun time learning about H is for horse. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.